Flash back on. Ignition. Ignition on. Number three. Welcome back everyone, it's me Matt, thanks for joining me. So this year marks the 100th year of the Royal Canadian Air Force and uh, for myself it's very humbling to know that uh, I'm actually able to see history up close and personal and when we look at World War II and the conflict that was involved with bombers of the day in, you know, Bomber Command, the Halifax certainly was not the most prominent the Lancaster was. The Lancaster got all the showcase, most of the glory, uh, with those beautiful Merlin engines you're seeing rolling right now. Uh, it was just an incredible bomber. But of course, the Halifax also had a massive role to play, and hugely, particularly in Canada's involvement in World War II. 70,000 missions were run on the Halifax bombers. 70,000 bombing missions. 40,000 of those were by Canadian bomber crews. The Canadian Air Force at the time was certainly trying to compete with the prestige at the time as well of the Royal Air Force. And um, as a proud Canadian and a proud Brit, um, we're all on one team. But one thing that is for sure, uh, the Canadians for sure held their own in World War II in Bomber Command. And I was given the opportunity, the rare opportunity, to see a Bristol Hercules engine ground run um, to actually see the power that these engines produced for the Halifax bomber. Of course, the Merlins are just as beautiful. I've done a video on them before too. But seeing an engine like this, a radial engine running at that power, is just incredible to see. And I have so much respect for the crews who operated these aircraft and these engines on these aircraft, the mechanics that looked after them. And also a big shout out to the Bomber Command Museum of Canada in Nanton, Alberta, the most incredible people and team there that keep this kind of stuff rolling. Um, it was really, really cool to see, and I would strongly encourage you, if you are ever traveling through Alberta here in Canada and Western Canada, to go check out the Bomber Command Museum in Nanton and see this beautiful beast running. Of course, they also have the Lancaster Merlin engines running at some points of the season as well. Um, really, really cool to see, which I'll put some footage at the end of the video here too, but uh, it was just really cool to see this engine up close and personal, and a piece of me kind of related to that you know, trying to prove yourself, but on the op op opposite end of the spectrum, you know, uh, Canadians proving to Brits that we held our own in the war. Um, I'm a Brit coming to Canada. And I want to hold my own in the Canadian army, right? So it's it just spoke a little bit to me. It was a little sort of humbling moment to know that this engine was truly, you know, a Canadian um, powering aircraft. It kept Canadians alive, brought them home, took them to battle. And uh, I, I take my hat off to it, in all honesty, and those who produced it and manufactured it and served with it. So um, yeah, let's take a look at these engines. 